All right, Coach, if you want to start with a quick statement. Yeah, just want to say uh, thanks to all the fans that came out today. It was awesome to have uh, not only the fans, but the band and the cheerleaders to provide just a, an awesome environment for Oak Field anytime we can get out there. Obviously, the weather cooperated today. It was 60 and sunny and just an awesome day in Columbia, Missouri. Want to wish a, a good luck to the basketball team tonight as they take on Oklahoma. I know Conzo has uh, got his guys ready to go and ready to watch uh, Jeremiah Tillman and uh, the Smith brothers do work tonight. Good luck to the volleyball team. I believe they got a match tonight. I believe the baseball team's playing. We're wrapping up soccer. So it's a big day for Mizzou uh, sports and want to wish them all well. You know, obviously, um, had a good day today. You know, was excited about the opportunity to compete, put those guys in situations. I know it wasn't a typical game where you just come out and start putting the ball down. You know, really, uh, we wanted to make sure that we got the most out of every opportunity to practice. And, uh, you know, this is practice number 12 for us, and we need to make sure we got specific reps, see specific guys in certain situations to see how they would respond so that they can continue their growth to become the best version of themselves as a player. Was really uh, thrilled with the way the defense started off in the red zone. That's always a very difficult situation. Um, and those guys really responded with their backs against the wall. Uh, you know, offense got the first first down uh, and then wasn't able to capitalize. And the defense really, the next time out there, you know, with the ones-on-ones, uh, defense just did a nice job of locking us out. So that was good to see. I thought offense really responded in the open field, getting that drive. But obviously, we got to capitalize in the red zone. That was an area that uh, we weren't as good as we need to be. So something that we'll be able to focus on really in fall camp to really get that work in uh, with the chemistry and the timing that we need. So all in all, I thought it was a good day. Uh, really pleased with the way Michael Cox finished the scrimmage right there, running the football. I thought Mako did some nice things. Tyler Macon did some nice things in the live portion of the scrimmage. And uh, so with that, I, I guess I'll open it up for questions. And if you could just use Ray's hand. Go ahead, Andrew Kaufman. Coach, just overall, what did you think of the uh, the quarterback play from uh, from your four guys out there today? Um, I'm having hold a little trouble with the volume. But... Sorry, y'all. Hold okay. on one sec. Be my fault. It's okay. Operator error. Yeah, you know, I thought overall quarterback play was just blah. To be to be blunt, uh, you know, didn't throw any touchdowns. Obviously, I think we threw one interception. Um, you know, I thought we in the uh, tag portion of the practice. You know, there was some those that may or may not have been sacks that were blown sacks, which is part of it. But uh, we didn't execute at a high enough level. I thought, you know, Connor made a couple of good throws, but overall we can improve. Um, so that's that's always a good sign. You, you want to make sure that uh, you continue to have an opportunity to get better. And Gabe? Yeah, Eli, uh... Anytime you have people in the stands, they're going to draw try to draw conclusions. But how tough is it to assess offensive play in situations where there's not live tackling? And like you said, it, it kind of changes the outcome of some things. Yeah, I mean, that's where, the, you know, individual football players get a chance to, to show the, showcase their moves. And you're not sure if that guy gets, you know, touched down. Uh, I would encourage the fans to enjoy the beautiful weather, uh, enjoy the awesome opportunity to watch us play, and, and uh, don't worry about it till we're really keeping score. Uh, it's all about individual player development, putting people in individual situations. You know, we, we've, we've really focused. Don't, don't, don't worry about the outcome or the result right now. We're really process oriented in what we're trying to do. You know, it was not, we appreciate all the fans being there, but this was not a scrimmage designed to try to make everybody feel good. I mean, this was the best versus the best the entire time uh, without being live to try to protect and make sure that we took care of guys. You know, we got a lot of, I think we have 13 players coming back that have over a thousand reps of college football. So we're trying to be really smart about it. So I wouldn't worry about any of the conclusions. Um, I would just worry about enjoying it. Thank you for being here. And uh, we're going to continue to get better. Boy, how about how exciting it was to see good fundamental football on the defense side of the ball? You know, thought thought the defense played really aggressive. Four down front looked good. Uh, our safety fits were strong today. I thought our corners and the one on one really had a good day. So. You know, overall, I was I was pleased with our, with our performance. I thought the one on ones were Toski, you know, caught a deep ball in the right corner, perfect throw by by Connor. You got to add all those things together, and uh, that that's what made it exciting. And Eric Blue, 
Hey, Eli was, you know, you, you obviously didn't have much time last year this time to work with the guys, obviously because of COVID. Now that you've had kind, almost your full spring slate, are you just, you know, is it, was last year almost an appetizer for what we should expect with how you want to run things offensively and just the misdirections and stuff like that? Or, you know, is, is it just more of the same almost? Um, I think every year you look to grow and try to develop and figure out new ways to improve. We're a game plan specific offense. So, you know, each week it, it looks a little bit different based on who we're playing and what we're trying to attack right now. We're just trying to be uh, run our base schemes, you know, with, you know, and trying to have a little bit of window dressing since we've been running them for, you know, 12 practices now against the defense. But, you know, I, I think we're a game plan specific offense pro tempo style that is going to run the outside zone, take vertical shots. Stretch ball horizontally. Bennett Durando. Hey, Eli, um, Elijah Young and Mookie Cooper with some reps with the ones today. What do you think of them and, and what's sort of the value of getting some of those guys chances to play with the ones? Well, I mean, they're going to play with the ones in the fall. And so it was an opportunity for them to, to really showcase what they've really been doing all spring uh, and, uh, you know, continue to just uh, bring everybody along. Thought Mookie did some nice things. Obviously, he's going to continue to improve. And I think it's always – good to get these guys out in front of some fans in, a, in this situation. You know, the first time they're being really counted on here. Um, so you get to see how they're going to react to, to that, that kind of pressure and, and grow and learn from it. Tony Reagan. Tony. Yeah, sorry about that. Thanks, Coach. Uh, could you speak to uh, to Connor's mindset heading into this spring as opposed to previous springs? Um, is there is there more confidence, more pressure, a little bit of both? Can you speak to that? Yeah, I can speak to it really easy. This is Connor's first spring practice in the history of him playing quarterback. So I think his mindset was that to um, – well, I know it was – I don't think. I know it was to utilize this opportunity to, to improve and show tremendous growth in fundamentals and also an understanding play speed. And uh, when you watch him in the pocket, which you all don't have – you know, the ability to do sometimes, but he's been really, really good at, at subtle movements in the pocket, still getting the ball out. I think he's making good reads that, that throw right down there to Toski in the red zone, the, uh, the second drive, you know, the offense got down there. I mean, that was a bang, bang play and throw. And, you know, I asked him, Hey, could you have squeezed one more count? He said, no, the safety's there. I mean, he's seeing the football field really well, uh, which is exactly what you want to see. Obviously we got to continue to get chemistry and timing with the wide receivers and, and uh, we're going to get that. I'm not I'm not stressed at all, but I, I am proud of the way he's improving. And Bill Follett. Yeah, thank you. Coach, uh, players that are successful during the regular season in the fall, what do they need to do between spring practice and fall camp on their own? Just talk about that importance. Yeah, I think they really have to live by our four core values. I think they have to always compete to be better today than they were yesterday, be better tomorrow than they were today. I think they have to compete in the weight room. They have to understand that that uh, their competition is not just with themselves, but it's everybody else who plays the game at their position, and they're trying to work as hard as they possibly can to be the best version of themselves. I think the next thing is to build trust and respect within the teammates and within this brotherhood, making sure that they um, stay out of trouble, put the team first in all aspects of what they are, do more than what's expected, spend time on their own, doing individual, uh, do, doing study and film, doing the things that, uh, you know, are going to help them improve and then enjoy the journey, make sure that they're developing that brotherhood and the relationships uh, with our team. Uh, and so that's really the, the challenge for them over the next four months. I'm excited to turn these guys loose to our, uh, our uh, athletic performance staff and, and really utilize these next four months for them to really improve uh, their bodies physically. Um, to develop speed, and then for us as coaches to continue to take what we've seen now on film and uh, help them develop and improve off of that, which is, uh, you know, one of the reasons why we went early was to try to get it on tape, evaluate where we're at, and then be able to improve. And, and really, April is going to be a huge month for us. And Mason? Hey, Coach, did the offensive coaches versus defensive coaches final matchup come about today, or was that something that you guys had talked about a little bit before? Well, um, it came from me today. Uh, I don't think the coaches knew that what was coming, although the offensive staff must have had some sort of heads up because that play looked a little bit too organized. Really disappointed with a bad snap. You know, Marcus is on our centers all the time about having good snaps, and then he went out there and the moment was too big for him. So that was disappointing, um, you know, but – 
you know, all in all, we're about enjoying the journey. We've been, we've finished every scrimmage with some sort of coaches competition. And so I just figured it'd be great to see a two point play. Um, you know, it was a, it was a close one at the goal line there, but if we were live, I'm pretty confident DJ Smith would have ran over uh, coach Linehan there, our offensive GA. So go ahead and give the, give it to the defense. Wilson Moore. Eli, uh, Ish had that pick in the end zone, then a couple pass breakups today. What did you see from him today? And just uh, what have you seen from him all camp this spring? Yeah, yeah, we, we, we re replayed that, and I don't think they gave it to him as far as the interception. No, he, Ish has really done a nice job. And I think all of our defensive backs, you know, we're asking them to do something that's a lot different than what they've done previously here, and that's to play with eyes on the quarterback and to, you know, attack the ball. Um, to break on routes and match, you know, pattern match read and and do some different things. They still incorporate man to man coverage, uh, but but we've asked them to adjust and and I, I think both Ish and uh, um, Ennis and uh, Chris Abrams Drain and and all those guys, JD Perkins, all have really embraced that and have gotten better and improved um, throughout camp. You know, those guys have have really done a nice job of forcing interceptions, forcing tip balls. So really impressed and pleased with, with the progress that those guys are making. And last question from Parker. Hey coach. Uh, obviously we could see that Michael Cox had a, had a good day today. Um, but it seemed like every time his number was called, he was just running super hard. Uh, yeah. what, what did you see out of him today? Yeah, I think he, he, he does a nice job. Hard runner had a really good career as a high school running back, uh, and was hard to tackle. And, and uh, we're very, very, very excited about the way he played today. Hopefully, hopefully he can continue to improve. I've got one last thing before I let y'all go. You know, I've been seeing uh, seeing my man Conzo sing. I just want to let y'all know the ball is tipped. There you are, fighting for your life. You're a shooting stars in all those years. Win or lose, you always did your best because inside you chose for one shining moment, you reach for the stars. That's all I know. But anyway, just wanted to let y'all know that uh, it's tournament time, man. Let's go, Mizzou. M I Z, go get them, Conzo. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, sir.